Thank you. Uh, today, I uh, thank you for giving us a chance to uh, introduce our research and uh, its usage in the real business. I'm Shinji Nakadai from Data Science Research Laboratory, NEC, and the reason why I'm talking here is to find a chance to work with you, because uh, we have established uh, two research laboratories in the different uh, national uh, institute. One is uh, AIST, one is in AIST, and the other is in Riken AIP here. And that's why uh, uh, we'd like to invite researcher or visiting researcher or uh, inter inter internship students to these laboratories. And the, so we would like to introduce how NEC researchers are working on the working for the business and uh, contribute to the academic uh, community. The title for Waves of AI Business represents three existing trends and uh, uh, one future direction. And uh, this slide shows the uh, three existing waves. And the first one is the recognition, which makes in AI to understand outer world. And the second is the uh, prediction, which may provide us with the good information for the decision making. And the third wave is the control or optimization. It may uh, decide automatically uh, so to uh, realize the business value. And let me start with the, the recognition. We have been doing the big business in of the face recognition and the product of the uh, product for the immigration control is widely used in the uh, airports. And uh, this business success is due to the fact that we are, we, uh, we, uh, we were the uh, world champion in uh, NIS benchmark for several years. And uh, uh, except for the uh, immigration control, let me introduce on the applications and the poor uh, technologies. As one of the longest running women's professional sports associations in the world, it's no surprise that they have seen record setting attendance rates year after year. This year, NEC was given the opportunity to work with the LPGA AA Inspiration in Rancho Mirage, California. And for the last 118 years, NEC has set the standard for technological development and implementation. Having already achieved great success with their biometric security solutions in law enforcement <coughs> stadiums, in parks and airports around the world, NEC is proud to bring an industry leading facial recognition technology, video based software speech to the LPGA. With ever increasing media coverage of large sporting events, credential management has become a key factor in the overall venue infrastructure. NEC's media base has greatly increased the user experience, all while providing an expanded level of safety and security. Let's say you're a member of the media team. You've already been issued your credentials and you're ready to enter the venue. With NeoFace, you simply walk into camera view and NEC's facial recognition software matches pre enrolled customers' faces in the database for a quicker, more secure entry. NEC has performed as the highest ranked provider of this technology. The technology brings convenience, speed, and accuracy all in one package. With NeoFace as a power behind NEC, biometric facial recognition, you can feel at ease knowing you provide a world-class level of security to your customers. Neoface Watch can compare faces in a crowd to a predefined watch list of known security threats and will generate alerts to on-site security if an unauthorized individual attempts to enter. We want to continue our innovation and we want to be able to bring those benefits to our communities, to our neighborhoods. And NEC has been able to overcome these challenges and have successful implementations. Currently ranked number one in testing by the National Institute of Standards and Technology is just one of many ways that NEC demonstrates their dedication to safety, security, and improving the customer experience. Like the amazing female athletes playing in the LPGA at the AA Inspiration Tournament, NEC strives for excellence. Orchestrate. 
Recognition is still important, so we will continue to research and to keep the competitive competitiveness. And the second way, prediction. Uh, we around year 2000, we are using SPM because the Dr. Pap, uh, Bapnik was a member of NEC Laboratories America. But recently, we have decided to develop two different types of AI uh, predictors. One is a white box predictor and the other is the black box predictors. White box predictor uh, re means that uh, it gives us with the, the interpretable model so that we can decide <coughs> something in the real business. But the black box model is not so uh, interpretable, but uh, it, can, uh, it is very accurate. And though NEC Research Laboratory America have been working on these uh, topics many years, and so the, uh, the most important contribution is the open source torch. The open source torch was widely used and uh, it was uh, developed and by the NEC until uh, the version five. And the, now it, it is released as a product wrap named Norapid. And as for the uh, white box model, uh, we have developed uh, uh, this uh, engines, uh, heterogeneous mixture learning. Uh, because of time limitation, I cannot explain the detail, but uh, uh, this is called uh, uh, rule switching regression and uh, as long as a heterogeneous heterog he uh, hierarchical mixture of experts. And the, if you are interested in this model, uh, please refer to this, uh, refer, uh, check this uh, AI status papers. And the important point is uh, we are not, uh, we are working not only for the business, but, only for, uh, but also for the academic communities. And uh, uh, let me explain another uh, application, uh, a real application of the uh, HML. Third wave is the control, and uh, uh, let me skip the details. But uh, we are doing the business in for the retail stores, so we have developed uh, uh, price optimization solutions, and these results are published in the KDD, uh, Ijika, and the NIPS. So uh, we are uh, doing the uh, business, and of course the, the research as well. So there are many solutions. So let me uh, introduce the fourth wave. So what is the next wave? Uh, we are thinking of the negotiation because the, as I mentioned, uh, the third wave is the optimization or uh, co control. It means that individual AI decide internal state, optimize internal state so, uh, so that it can increase individual uh, utility. But uh, if it, it becomes, it 
if it uh, become popular in the future, uh, there might be a conflict in the society. So we need to uh, work on these problems. So we have started this problem setting. So uh, we have started the, this uh, research in the AIST and uh, AIS, AIP. So we regarded uh, this problem as a game theoretic problem. So uh, at the last, uh, finally, uh, I'd like to summarize. Uh, we are, uh, if you are interested in the business partner or a research partner in industry, please contact us. And uh, uh, yeah, I we except for the negotiation, we have a lot of uh, topics, research topics. Uh, so we can give some data, or we can some uh, uh, we can in introduce uh, some cu customers. So. Uh, we are looking forward to uh, uh, hearing from you. Thank you.